The best way to teach people is by telling a story. Ken Blanchard. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I really hope that I can get this out in the spirit that I want to get it out in. Because this is something that's very, very personal to me as a dude that has had a lot of adventures in his life. One of the things I've always, always really, really found very disturbing is when somebody that barely know you, or for that matter, don't know you at all, tries to tell you about you uh-huh not I, I i i see i got y'all attention see y'all thought i was gonna dump on jay-z i ain't got no problem with jay-z i don't know if jay-z did any stuff he claimed he did or not man i, I don't even care but what's crazy is the amount of dudes online making videos claiming that he didn't do any of that stuff as if y'all know what the man did let me tell you some personal story. That's why I let off with that Kim Blanchard thing, man. Let, let me tell you some personal stories, some real stuff that happened to me, man. Because, I mean, it, it's crazy, bro. I got some friends, right? <clears throat> some cats that grew up with me. They didn't really run the streets, though. And years after we was all retired, had already done time, we out home. One day we like, we, we talking, we chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? We actually on three ways, two of them talking to me. Now the two I'm talking to never really did nothing with me. They grew up with me, but they, was, they wasn't really out in the streets right like that, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, during the talk, they started telling me my story. Because, you know, over the years, they, they heard, over the years, they heard bits and pieces of it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure my earrings was in. Over the years, they heard bits and pieces of it. And um, they started telling me back my story because they had repeated it so many times as if it was their story that they forgot that they wasn't even there for real. So they telling me some stuff and I'm sitting there listening like, what are you talking about? Say, say you wasn't even there. But I say, well, what are y'all talking about? You wasn't there. Well, you, you, I said, man, y'all tripping now, man. Y'all, 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 y'all telling me this story like y'all telling me something new when this is my story. I told it to you, but y'all, y'all only heard bits and pieces because truthfully, we didn't really talk about stuff like that. You know, it just like they might have been around while we was, while, while me and the dudes that was actually there were talking. You know what I'm saying? And they might have overheard it because we all grew up together. It's not like we hear stuff from them. You know, we didn't, we wasn't afraid that they was going to, you know, drop a dime on us or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, they wasn't there. And not only were they telling me a story that they wasn't involved in, they was taking out the characters that were actually there, putting themselves in their place. And I was like, hold, hold, hold up. So you just, not only are you telling me a story in, in, that you didn't even participate in, you are taking out the two dudes that were there because to you, they saw. To you, they didn't do nothing. But them two dudes was with me on everything. Y'all just didn't know it. Y'all just didn't know it because y'all wasn't there. Them two dudes were always around. I remember my, when, when, when my boy, I, I, I don't want, I got to change the name to protect the guilty, right? I don't want to see my boy's name. But he, the one, he was one of them that was always with me. In fact, he was my main partner in crime. And he said that he was talking to some cats one day, you know what I'm saying? And he happened to mention, I could mention this one here, Big Loke, Loke dead, man. Rest in peace, peace, Big Loke. You know, he happened to mention Big Loke. And he was like, man, I ain't know Loke. Loke was into all that. He said, I know you didn't know because you wasn't there. You, you, you don't be with us. But Loke was always with us. He was always around. You know what I'm saying? He, Loke had stories because Loke was actually there. But a lot of dudes didn't think Loke was there because Loke was kind of quiet. Or Red Boy, you know what I'm saying? They, they figured that, you know, 
he was just like a flunky that hung around me, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. But Loke was always with us. But no matter how you want to chop it up, he was always there. He 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 seen this stuff firsthand, you know. So anyway, I had to check these dudes on that. But I'm like, man, how y'all going to not only tell people, tell other people's stories, but then write out the people that was actually there and insert yourselves in it. That was the first straw. The second straw, you know, you in every neighborhood, you got all these OG type, legendary type dudes. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody know their names. But, you know, a lot of people don't really know them personally. You know what I'm saying? But these are dudes that I mess with. You know, all these OG, legendary type dudes that's older than me. You know, I'm OG now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But these dudes was OG back then. Right now, these dudes probably like, probably around 70 years old. You know what I'm saying? Late 60s, early 70s. You know what I'm saying? For the ones that's still alive. And he talking about these dudes, you know, and he's telling me about things these dudes had supposedly done and didn't do or whatnot, right? And he don't know these dudes. He don't know these dudes at all. I know for a fact he don't know these dudes because I know these dudes. These dudes were my friends. So he's talking, I say, man, where did you get that story from, man? Unk never did that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, I forgot, but it was something he supposed to have done or not supposed to have done. I was like, where did you hear that at, bro? He told me, now these dudes who don't know this dude, don't know Unk, tell me that this took place before I met him. I said, well, when do y'all think I met Unk, bro? They said, well, you met him when you came back from Shy town You know what I'm saying? When you came, you know, when, when you came out of military school, that's when you met him. I said, no, I've been running with Onk since I was 11 years old, bro. In fact, Onk gave me my first job on the streets, bro. I was 11. He gave me a gun that was bigger than me, bro. Told me to watch his back. Paid me pennies, but I was a little boy. I didn't know no better. You know what I'm saying? Paid me pennies, but I mean, I I, I was able to buy some, some kicks, a couple of shirts, you know what I'm saying? I had a little money in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I was straight, though. I was Gucci at the age, as y'all say Gucci, you know? Y'all got some funny terms about this generation. But, you know, I was straight, you know what I'm saying? But I had a gun that was bigger than me, bro. He, he set me up in the spot. He gave me that gun with two clips. Told me, watch his back. Said, man, anything go down, you blast first. Don't, don't, don't even ask questions, you know? I'm like, cool. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know that. And these dudes were my neighborhood friends. Seen me all the time. Every day was around me. But they never knew that because I never told them. See, we grew up saying, don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. How in the hell somebody who don't even know Jay-Z personally going to sit there and argue about what that dude did and didn't do? That's just as crazy as when I heard Dr. Umar Johnson talk about how the Bilderberg group gave Hillary Clinton permission to win the election, but she did something wrong and they took it back from him. Nigga, how would you know that? You're not a member of the Bilderberg group. You're not in those meetings. Aren't those meetings supposed to be secret? It's amazing how niggas know everything about the secret lives of strangers, but can't tell you shit about themselves. Y'all got problems, bro. Y'all got problems, man. The other day, somebody, another dude put out another hateful video against Jay-Z. I mean, they've been coming out the woodwork lately. Now that the dude, a three-time daddy hype man for his wife, all of a sudden, all these niggas got smoke for him. But the dude spent decade, a decade rapping about street life, making songs like Come and Get Me, teasing niggas. The streets say Jigga can't go back home. You know when I heard that? When I was back home. The dude made songs making fun of these dudes, talking about how they want to take him out and do all this. He said, well, come and get me. Song after song after song after song. How dudes be talking shit about him. And when they see him, they take out running before he get a word out of his mouth. He said all this in songs. And nobody refuted it when he was out in the streets. Now that he's retired, basically from any type of wild stuff, he's, he's, a, he's a daddy just living his life with his wife and family. You know what I'm saying? He's a hype man, like I said, for Beyonce. Now all of a sudden, all these dudes crawling out the woodwork talking about what that dude did and didn't do. How in the hell would y'all know what this man did and didn't do? Well, my uncle was from the same project. What that mean? I just told you I have friends that grew up with me, that seen me every day. We hung out together, played together, everything. 
and they had no idea what I did when I wasn't with them. And I never told them. Your uncle growing up in the same project means nothing. These are worlds out there in that lifestyle that overlap on top of each other. You don't know what that man doing. You don't know what the next man is doing. Stop trying to tell somebody else's story and go get your own story to tell. Go get your own life to tell. Go do something, man, instead of sitting online gossiping about, about other men's doings like a little bitch. Get out there and live your life, man. Y'all dudes got problems with this shit, bro. This shit irked me, man, because I can't tell you how many times I had to check people about that shit, bro. Don't tell me about me, man. Let me tell you about me. That's my saying, in fact. That, that's exactly how I said it. Man, don't tell me about me. Let me tell you about me. You don't know me good enough. Nobody know me good enough to tell my story, bro. Not even my closest friends can tell you everything because you do different things with different people. Nobody can tell your story. Nobody know your whole story, but they know your character. Now, that somebody can gauge. They can gauge your character, but they can't tell your story. Not especially when you got a story to tell. I listened to that dude talk shit about these kinds of dudes for 10 years on records. And these dudes would never say nothing about that man. Now, all of a sudden, he never hustled. Why y'all care whether or not he, he, he really sold dope? Isn't that some negative stuff anyway? Shouldn't y'all want to give him that? Give it to him, huh? So this dude did a song like, You Must Love Me. Listen to that song, and you can't tell me he's making that up. Listen to the song. You can't tell me that that's a made-up song, bro. Listen to Come and Get Me. You can't tell me that's a made-up song, bro. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop this madness, bro. See, y'all can't recognize real when y'all hear it. I don't know what level he, he, he hustled on. I don't know what level he balled on. Listen to that Black album. When he's talking after the song go off, and he's saying, hey, man, y'all remember when we had to pay for our own videos? We didn't know what we was doing. Y'all remember when we had to? He's recalling. He said, y'all looking for the platinum, but y'all record. I recall, because I've really been there before. He's been saying this shit the whole time. He's recalling. But y'all don't, y'all can't recognize when a dude is recalling. Because y'all have no stories. But don't, that's on him, bro. That's on you if you don't have no stories. Don't try to tell his story. I'm going to go to another street story. This is this another, this is real talk. They had some new cats on the set. You know, what y'all call a trap or whatever right now. We called it a set back in the days, right? They had some new cats hanging on the set. And um, they had their, their eyes on a certain carrot. I can't say his name either because he's still alive too. Although he's been shot six times one time. <laughs> and he healed up for that and got shot nine more times another time. But this nigga still walking around. This bitch, bad grass is hard to kill, bro. I tell you. He's still walking around. So anyway, I'm going to call him Apple. He, he don't know who it is by me saying that, but his name not Apple, y'all. But he's going to figure it out if he ever hear this. The people who know him going to figure it out, too, if they ever hear this. Okay. Now, Nightwall niggas I'm talking about. Lord Nightwall, CTC, Cutthroat City. That's where I'm from. So I got some new cats on the block. They had this cat, Apple. He was like a quiet, like, you know, like non-confrontational type dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, always by himself, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes be out there on a the cut, man, no shirt on, bandana around his neck, you know what I'm saying? You know, just chilling out that shit, pistol and pants and shit like this. You know, that's the kind of nigga he was. So, these new dudes, for some reason, they had a bug up their ass about Apple. Can't tell you why, I don't know why. I just have, I'm a general now. I'm out there on the cut, right? I'm on the set. I'm like a general out here right now, right? So, I can hear the dudes in earshot. Talking about somebody, calling him a hoe, you know, that nigga bitch. I booted him up the other day. That nigga put his head down and walked away and all this stuff. I'm looking, man, I'm like. So now I'm violating the game because I want to know who they talking about because this is work out here. They about to start some trouble out here. I need to know because, you know, this is business out here. You know? We don't need no shooting out here. We already got enough violence down here, you know. So I'm like, bro, who the hell y'all talking about, man? And they said we talking about that bitch ass nigga Apple. 
I'm like, Apple? Man, that nigga the hoe, man. I, look, I looked him up and down, Kush, the other day. That nigga turned his head, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time I looked at him, he put his head down. I said, because that's how he is. But you keep looking at him. When he makes sure that you want that drama, he bringing it to your ass, and he ain't going to play when he come. Who, him? I said, yeah, nigga, him. Y'all don't know that dude. <laughs> that dude is going to spank all of y'all. Y'all keep playing with him. He is going to stand over y'all, unload, reload, unload, reload, and unload and reload again. Y'all are playing with a monster and y'all don't even know it because he's non-confrontational. Because you looking at him, he putting his head down. He turning his head. He don't want I fuck you, nigga. He ain't trying to eye wrestle with you. He ain't trying to eye battle with you. He going to pull that iron out and let that thing ring. Keep staring at him. Keep playing with him. Keep eyeballing him. Watch what he do, y'all. Them, them dudes like him? Are you sure? Nigga, I know the dude. What you mean? Am I sure? I'm positive. <laughs> I'm positive what he's going to do to you. I am a thousand percent sure what he's going to do to you. Keep playing with him and watch what happens. And that's the kind of stuff I see in this whole thing, man. For the last three days, man. I, I left a comment. Just... I didn't, like I said, I'm not trying to co-sign, that's nothing, we don't co-sign nobody, I'm not trying to co-sign Jay-Z, I just left a comment saying, say, but these dudes, you know, we, I, I, I seen the interview with Cameron talking about Jay-Z always had money, we heard the song, he ain't jockey Jay-Z, because he got a Mercedes, you know, we know that he been, in a, that other rappers have mentioned him, him being a baller of some sort is almost well established, right, I mean, from other people, so all I said was, say, but them dudes pay for their own videos, other rappers and already said this dude had it. I said, so I mean, look, how did they get their money then? That's all I said. I said, if they didn't do it through hustling, then how did they get it? Because I mean, it's established they had money. You know what I'm saying? It's established. Jay-Z said that they came in the game 900 k strong. Yeah, that's what he said. That out of their pocket. This is how they funded everything. You know what I'm saying? This is what he said. I don't know if, I don't know if that was just his 900 k or it was a combined 900K, but these dudes had paper. So I said, if they didn't get it through hustling, how did they get it? That's all I asked. And for the last three or four days, dudes have been arguing back and forth in there whether or not Jay-Z was a real... Why would a grown man care that much about a stranger? Why would a grown man care that much, bro? I mean, y'all dudes out here looking bad as hell, man, trying to say what this man did or didn't do. Who cares? But see, I know y'all types because I've dealt with y'all types before. And y'all don't understand a type like him because y'all not that type. That's why I told y'all the story about Apple. That's why I told y'all the story about me with uncle, how my own closest friends didn't even know I was doing that. I got more stories. I mean, I've done a lot that my closest friends don't know I've done. And I'm sure, like, like my, my, my right-hand man, he's a he's a wilder motherfucker, too. So I'm sure he has a lot of stories that he's never told me about. It's not that we have secrets. It just never came out in conversation. Because we were just taught, don't let your right hand know what your left hand doing. It's how we move. But y'all don't understand the mindset of these street dudes, these quiet-type dudes, man, that, that about it, that you can't read. See, look, one of my rounds, rest in peace, my boy Pi. I'm going to tell you all about Pi, too. He dead, too, so I can, I can mention his name. Rest in peace, big brother. My boy Pi, man, he was getting, he got jammed up one time. And them alphabet, them alphabet boys was in there asking him questions about me, you know what I'm saying? So he called me up and said, say, man, Kush, look, these people got a lot of questions about you. He said, but that's not the, that's not the issue. The issue is whoever telling these people shit about you, they know you, bro. He said, because people who don't know you, they don't know how you really are. They don't know you like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was like Apple. I'm non-confrontational either, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, niggas be standing at me. You know, I put my head. I walk away. Straight real talk. If I see a nigga like eyeballing me trying to, you know, get my attention, I pretend like I don't see him. But keep looking, nigga. Soon as I make sure that I'm, that, that I'm positive that you want some trouble, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, and I'll come with these, these. It didn't matter. I'm about it, man. I'm telling from the hands to the to, from the hands to the blam blams. I didn't care, you know what I'm saying. I didn't care. I'm about it, bro. But I was non-confrontational, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I was really just a hustler, you know. I was trying to just hustle, you know. 
that's why I understand Jay-Z songs, because he just, his songs remind me of me. Now, did he actually live like that? I don't know. But I can relate because it's relatable. His songs remind me of the way I move. You know what I'm saying? It was how I did things. So my boy told me, said, man, people who don't know you don't know that you were like that. It, 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 it always sunk in my head because it tells me how I moved and how I was perceived by the outside. People who didn't know me just didn't know how far I would go, bro. They had no idea. But that's why names proceed, you know what I'm saying? You would go in different parts of the city, and people, like, like, like this happened one time for real. I was, I was in um, the Seven War, and they had a nigga, um, you know, doing the thing. I, I fucking me, you know what I'm saying? Looking at me all up and down, like, you know, booting me up and shit. And I ain't saying, you know, I ain't, I'm just chilling. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't paying no mind, bro. Few minutes later, you know what I'm saying? He got a, he, he walks over by this group of niggas, you know what I'm saying? One of them right now doing like a hundred thousand years, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say his name because he's still alive, but he walks over there by them, you know what I'm saying? And um, you can see him talking, you know what I'm saying to him, and you see them niggas like like pointing like they like nah, bro, you know? And they, you see him trying to explain to him who I am, and this nigga turned around a whole different expression on his face. His eyes got big. He looked back because see my name preceded. But a lot of people didn't know how I look. That's just how street life is, you know. So like I say, if you don't know a person, you know of a person. So they told him who I was. Now this same nigga, real story. Same nigga walked back over and said, "Man, I ain't mean to be looking at you like that, Kush, but I ain't know who you was, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to watch out for the hood and whatnot, whatnot, whatnot." I'm like, "It's all good, bro. I ain't say nothing to him. Nah, nigga, was trying me. And I'm dudes told you who I was, so now you realize you fucking up. You you about 35 seconds away from getting that ass spanked." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And you know it, so now it's all good. Now you want to come talk. Nah, man, don't be like that, bro. Don't be like that. But let me go back to Pie. Pie was another one. Pie like a straight buddy boy. He looked like he wouldn't squash a fly. Two pistol. Looked like a buddy boy. Except when he take his shirt off, he had them 19, 20 holes in his body from getting shot. You know what I'm saying? But two pistol looked like a buddy boy. With a nickname like Two Pistol. They don't call this nigga One Gun. You know what I'm saying? The nigga nickname was Two Pistol. You know what I'm saying? Looked like a buddy boy. Looked like he wouldn't hurt a fly. Man, you don't know people unless you know people, bro. <clears throat> and that's the moral of the story. You don't know people unless you know people. This is why when we was taught in the, in the street life, man, coming up as young G's, we didn't challenge nobody, man. We gave every man respect because we, you never know what a man capable of rising to, bro. Y'all around here playing games, man, but you know, you don't know what a man capable of rising to. You don't know what, you don't know how far a man will go. You don't know, you don't know what a man's limitations are. And if you challenge him and his limitations exceed yours, you are in trouble. Now, we did not mess with people because we were afraid. We did not mess with people because we were taught that that's just not how you roll. Give every man respect, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and you know, you back up, give a nigga 50 feet, you know what I'm saying? You give you give a motherfucker space, you know? And more, more importantly, you don't try to tell another man about him. You don't try to write another man's story, you know? And this goes in anything, man. Y'all got too many conspiracy theories in the black community, bro. But we are the only people that sit around and wants to always talk about what dudes don't really do. Oh, he ain't really about that. He ain't never really did that. How you know? I heard the same thing about Biggie Smalls, but yeah, every time you look up, people talk about they did time with Biggie. He in jail for something, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, shit. He in jail for something, bro. You know? I mean, y'all be tripping. Oh, he ain't about that. Oh, he, he wasn't like that. My boy Troy, man. Baker. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Troy. Troy was a joker. Practical joker. Always walking around having fun. Always laughing, bro. Troy will put that iron on your ass. Play with him. Play with him. Come here, everybody who from the lower nine ain't hit us, y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Not only do y'all know me, y'all could vouch for me, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, what about uh uh not talking about your uh 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 who was another dude that looked like a buddy boy put that iron down on you? Um it was a lot of them. In fact, you know, when we was on a set in Lower Nine, most of them dudes had had, had had bodies already. Most of them. I mean, from the softest looking nigga to the wildest looking nigga, they had bodies. They had bodies. Tank. My round tank, man. You know what I'm saying? James motherfucking Wellington, man. You know, rest in peace, Tank. You know what I'm saying? 
Tank put that on. Tank was a practical joker, but he'll put that on on your ass. Joked all day. You would think he's a comedian, but all that nigga want to do is joke and laugh and shit and kiki. But fuck with him. Putting that iron on your ass. Yeah, I know y'all can say I'm name dropping. All these dudes, I'm name dropping, they dead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they gone. You know, they gone. You know, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's over. You know, but my point is, I've been around enough types of these dudes to know that you can't judge none of them by their cover. You can't judge none of them by, by, by whatever persona that you can see outside. You can't judge them by that. Because you just never know what these men are capable of getting up to until you cross them. And then you find out. Stop trying to write a, a, a strange man's story, bro. All you dudes that's online trying to talk about Jay-Z, all y'all look bad. There's other dude that think he's some kind of big gangster, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, yeah, you know, yeah, he was supposed to say, the words he used, Jay-Z was supposed to have told the police. You don't say that about nobody, bro. But they, they doing that to Jay right now because Jay, like I said, Jay, Jay out, he retired, bro. He See, he's above them now. So all they can do to tear him down is try to take away his street cred. As if Jay-Z give a fuck about street cred right now at this part of his life. You see what I'm saying? That's like me caring about street cred right now at this part of my life. I don't give a fuck. Most of the people right now running the streets don't know me. The older people know me. Them young cats never even heard of me probably. Think I care? I'm not trying to relive my glory days and nothing like that, bro. It's over. Been there, done that, man. I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still the same person underneath. I'll still rise to the occasion if I have to. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, stop trying to tell another man's story, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go get your own story. Go get your own tales to tell. To tell. Get your own tales to tell. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not cool to sit online trying to trying to rewrite somebody else's story. Don't do that, man. Don't care that much about somebody else's story to want to rewrite it. Leave that alone, bro. Leave it alone, man. Get your own, get your own story, man. Get, do your own thing, man. Get your own life, bro. Get your own world. I got my own story to tell. I don't need to be up here trying to, trying to uh, uh, advocate on behalf of nobody or trying to rewrite nobody's story. That's not. I don't have that to be doing. I got my own story to tell. But like I said, <clears throat> Jay Z stories are relatable, man, because I know the type. I can hear it. I know the type. I heard the songs. I heard how he said what he said. I heard how he expressed what he said. Now, there are levels to the streets. See, the, the one thing I always say, I always point this out to my wife about some of these so-called gangster rappers. You can always tell that they never really had money. See, the mindset of a baller is different from the mindset of a cowboy. I call the dudes that be out there just shooting up, they're having petty crimes, always getting the violence. I call them cowboys. The mindset of a baller is different. The baller can get into some cowboy shit, some gangster shit, but that's not where the baller lives. The baller lives on another plane. And when you're not a baller, you don't understand the mindset of a baller. But when you hear a baller talk in language, when you hear him talk, you recognize it. Let me tell you something else I know. Every baller I've known love Jay-Z's music. I'm going to repeat. Every baller, every dude that really, really, really hustled, loved Jay-Z's music. Why is that? Because it's relatable to him. All of them didn't like Ply's. Ply's music was relatable. And Ply's didn't do none of that. He was rapping about his cousin's life. But Ply's rapped it the way it go. <laughs> That's the thing. But that was some cowboy shit. But he rapped the cowboy shit the way it goes. How do I know? Because I was once a cowboy. <laughs> Before I was a baller, I was a cowboy. So I could relate to the cowboy shit when I heard it. Just like I could relate to the baller shit when I heard it. I could relate to them both. And I can tell you that they're both telling it how it goes. Now, one we know never did it. The other one say he did it. The other one is recalling as he talk. He's recalling as he do songs. I mean, come on, man. Stop trying to rewrite somebody else's life. Stop it, brothers. Just stop it, man. Just, just stop it, bro. 
You, you can't you can't dislike this dude, this strange man, that much, that 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 you think you're gonna hurt him by claiming he didn't do the shit that he actually did. You can't hurt that man like that, bro. That man is bigger than that, man. You can't hurt him like that. So anyway, I'm going to stop there, man. You know what I'm saying? For all those who want to support the channel, help me out, man, because the algorithm is against me, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is a real channel. And I just gave y'all some man talk there. Really, this wasn't even about Jay-Z. This was some man talk. Now, I hope y'all understood that to be what it was. That's man talk. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon to get notifications when I drop more heat. Uh, Want to drop a few bucks at me, you know what I'm saying? Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, and PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. You also have Patreon that's coming soon. I'm going to have some nice stuff over there, the kind of stuff that I just can't post on YouTube, talking about, you know, things that I can't talk about on YouTube. So it's going to be on Patreon. It's going to be some good stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to ride with y'all, boy, because this is the realest YouTube channel y'all got. You know, I'm trying to bring men back to being men. I'm trying to return you back to alpha. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring all y'all back to an alpha state of being. That's why I had this conversation. This had nothing to do with me trying to help Jay-Z or take up for Jay-Z. I don't give a damn whether Jay-Z did any of that shit or not. My point is, stop trying to rewrite another man's story. That's whole shit. Be a man. Alphas don't do that. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha. Salam.